Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. What is going on? What's up everybody? It's Wednesday and that means tomorrow's Thursday and that means the day after that is Friday and that's the day I fly to Bali so this just so happens to be the first clip of the Bali vlog. Uh, we've got washing on, we've cleaned the car this morning, uh, you, know, you know what I like to do before I go away on a holiday um, I like to get everything in order. I like to get the house cleaned, I like the car cleaned, I like food in the freezer for when I get back, my, all my clothes clean, up on hangers, everything done. And that's, that's how I like to start a holiday, in the best mindset possible. Because that means you can go completely stress free, you don't have to worry about anything when you get back, except for going to work. Because the last thing you want to do is get back to, an, to a fucking messy house, no food in the fridge, you've got to go to the supermarket first thing, it's like, that's the last thing you want, especially because of the fact that we're driving up to Darwin and back. So, Alice Springs to Darwin is 1500 kilometres. The plan, as it stands at the moment, is leaving Alice Springs at 4 in the morning, tomorrow, getting to Catherine, which is 1200 k's away, to stay for the night, then on Friday morning we leave Catherine, go to Darwin, get there about lunchtime, have the whole day in Darwin to chill out, do some cool things, and then we fly out at 11.20 at night, so we'll need to be at the airport about 9 o'clock. So that is the plan, guys, and I can't fucking wait. So, first things first, I gotta, uh, I gotta find my passport. I actually just messaged my sister and made sure that it was there, although she's not at home so she can't check for me. So, right now, I don't actually know exactly where my passport is, but I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be fine. So if not, you'll hear about it, but uh, all going to plan guys, all going to plan. I am just going to chill out for the rest of the day. I've got one last training session with Dylan. Tonight we're going to make it a leg session. It's the perfect way to end uh, the, the time that we've spent together. It's the perfect way to end this training. You know block that we've done and um, it's the perfect way to start your fucking holiday knowing that you just smashed some legs the night before so that's the plan I'm gonna keep packing my bag this is all we got so far we've got we've got basically a whole selection of singlets and t-shirts we've got shorts we've got shoes we've got my outfit for tomorrow and we've got some hats and basically guys uh, this is all going to be magically transformed into a nice neat and tidy suitcase full of stuff to go to Bali as well as that we've got the essentials over here the electronic essentials we've got the computer chargers everywhere we've got DJI freaking charger I've been charging up the batteries for the drone I've got that I've got my camera camera bag We've got the fucking GoPro. Mate, we're all set. We are all set. So, with that being said, we'll come outside now. And um, <laughs> as per usual, it's an absolute stunner of a day, which I shall show you right now. So that is that guys, we're, uh, we're nearly out of here, it's been a long time coming, I've been looking forward to this for about four months. Those of you who don't go travelling a lot, well, you probably live in a more exciting place than I do. You see, you live up here, it's all relative guys, you might earn a little bit more here, but you've got to fucking spend it on travelling to keep sane, and that's what I'm doing. So anyways, as far as I see it, I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning, four o'clock, or thereabouts. Knowing me, it's probably knowing me, it's probably going to be about 4:30, not 4, which will stress my sister out to the max. But who cares? Because honestly, I'm in holiday mode right now. I don't want to be stressed. I've already said to them, once we get on that plane, there is no stress allowed, and that's the rule. Peace. All right, everybody, what is going on? It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we're progressing. A procrastination has happened, but I have gone to the gym and trained, which is good. 
So we got that leg session out of the way and I'm feeling fantastic for that. But what I thought I'd show you guys before I pack it up is what food I'm going to take with me. So the drive from Alice to Darwin is 15 hours, it's 1500 kilometers and so this is the shit that I've got to take with me. Um, I'm planning on continuing the diet until at least I get to Bali so with that in mind we've got a Mars protein bar which I've never tried before. Uh, what are the macros? We're, we're looking at 19 grams of protein, 22 carb and 4.6 grams of fat. If that's not good then there's something wrong. Although I do have a sneaky suspicion it's going to taste just like any other protein bar. But do I have some news for you? This one has definitely been somewhat of a staple throughout my little mini cut that I've been doing. So honestly these would have to be the closest thing to a Twix bar that you're ever going to get out of a protein bar. And um, the macros are for two little uh, chocolate bars we've got 22 grams of protein, 7 grams of fat and 6 grams of carbs. So as far as the macros go this one shits all over that and I think it's going to shit all over it as far as taste as well. So. If you see these guys in Australian supermarkets, uh, try and get them on special, but if not, definitely give it a go, I'd have to recommend them. As well as that, we've got two core meals, hopefully I'm going to be able to find a microwave on the way, two old school meals which is Portuguese chicken breast, sweet potato mash and green beans. Macros on these we're looking at, we've got about 1420 kilojoules which is probably about uh, 350 calories, 44 grams of protein. 6 grams of fat and 24 grams of carbs. So I'll be having two of those. So we've got the drinks, we've got the Diet Cokes, uh, most likely energy drinks will be happening as well. And last but not least we've got these which has also been somewhat of a staple recently. So usually I would be going for your, uh, your Chibani Greek yogurt which as you guys know is extremely high in protein but it's also uh, quite high in sugar. It's really low in fat, but it's high in sugar. So this one is uh, slightly better macros. We've got 15.2 grams of protein, no fat, and 7.4 grams of carbs, as, as opposed to, and it's, it's flavored. Um, the Chibani yogurt is similar macros, but it's not flavored, so you've got to add something in there to flavor it, which is going to add calories add carbs, etc. So these have been fantastic. So that is pretty much it. I'm just continuing, I'm just basically taking a day's worth of normal food with me. But anyways guys, in other news, let me show you my, uh, my bedroom that is in a slightly more respectable state now. We've got the drone, which unfortunately guys did not make it through the last transit in one piece. And yes, that is a piece of the drone that you can see right there. So unfortunately I have to either carry it on me or if I want it to go on the plane I've got to put heaps of tape around it so I'll probably do that. We've got the suitcase all done, all done and dusted. And uh, here's Dylan's bed which he will be sleeping on for the next four nights. So Dylan if you're seeing this mate, uh, enjoy. Enjoy the house to yourself. I trust you so it's all good. That's, that's pretty much it, and all I've got to say is I'm fucking stoked. Um, I cannot wait to be jumping in my car at five in the morning and going as fast as I can north to Darwin. Um, I love Alice Springs, but like I've mentioned before, to keep your sanity, you really need to go traveling, and that's what we're gonna do. I know I, know I said before I'll be seeing you guys on the road in the morning, but now I really will, so. Everything's done, I'm feeling good, I've got my passport, we're good to go, I'll see you in the morning.